Hi, friends. I'm Emily Lay, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking to simplify your life and organize your home, then you are in the right place. Every week, I invite you to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. If you're looking to find a meaningful gift for a sister, teacher, mom, or friend, then we have got you covered. You can get a simplified gift card online today, all in about two seconds. You'll receive a printable gift certificate with a cute Christmas design that you can print out and tuck into a card, or that you can forward to your recipient with ease. You can find simplified gift cards right now in our shop over at emilylay.com. In December, I find myself saying yes to so much. More parties, more treats, more gifts, and last-minute gift cards, more, more, more. I also see this more, more, more show up on my calendar, and I definitely see it show up on my credit card. After all the gifts are unwrapped and the decorations are put away, when January rolls around, I've encountered a particular experience more than once, and I wonder if you have too. Have you ever logged into your credit card, scrolled through your bill, and wondered, Uh, how did that number get that big? That is not a fun one, but man, have I been there more than a few times because it's ridiculously easy to do. But in the spirit of simplifying the season, I wonder if we can simplify your holiday spending and rein in your budget so that you don't have the Sunday Scaries version of looking at your credit card bill next month. Throughout my life, my holiday budget has looked different in different seasons. Some budgets have been smaller than others, but you know what's funny? No matter how much money I had to spend on holiday gifts and treats and decorations, I've always enjoyed the holidays. They always seem special to me. Because the true spirit of the holidays has nothing to do with all the stuff. It has everything to do with the people you spend them with. No matter what you're celebrating, I promise you this. Being a little more mindful of your spending can help your peace of mind. With a little bit of effort and a few more boundaries, you can set a holiday budget and stick close to it. And you can give yourself the grace to flex in a few areas so that you can stretch the holiday magic where it makes sense without overextending yourself. And if you feel like you're already in over your head when it comes to holiday spending, don't worry, I've got you. We'll talk about a few ways you can pump the brakes and make sure you're spending more mindfully moving forward. So here we go. Here are a few ways to set and flex on your holiday budget this year. Number one, get real about your holiday spending categories. The holidays bring a few expenses that don't happen in other times of year. So think through your holiday season and make a list of all the things you anticipate purchasing. Divide them into categories like gifts, groceries, dinners out, decorations, travel, anything you might purchase for the holidays that isn't in your regular spending. Feel free to get as detailed as you'd like here. The more detailed you are, the easier it'll be to see how much money to set aside for the holidays. Having an actual number in mind instead of just, I'll wing it, is going to help you avoid that dreaded cold morning in January when you have to face your credit card bill. Number two, set doable spending limits for each category. This can be really hard, especially if you're budgeting for the first time, because sometimes what I think I spend on certain categories, like food and treats for the holidays, is a lot lower than what I actually spend. As you set your budget, try to make sure you err on the side of making your number more forgiving. That way, you're not setting yourself up for failure if your expenses accidentally creep a little too high. And here's a pro tip. The holidays will come again next year. When January rolls around, do a final tally of what you spent this year. Then, if you can, start saving a little money each month and work toward that goal for next year. Even if you can't save a little every single month, you'll be so happy with yourself once fall rolls around and you can breathe a little easier about the upcoming holidays because you've been preparing for them all year. Number three, prioritize gift exchanges and potluck dinners. If you or your kids are part of a big group that exchanges gifts, like friends or coworkers or even extended family, consider starting a gift exchange. This way you can focus on getting a single thoughtful gift for one person rather than multiple people. Set a dollar limit so that everyone is on the same page about how much to spend. We actually do this at Simplified, and we have for years and years. We do a secret Santa, and we use a program, Elfster, maybe? That's what comes to mind. It's something about an elf. Anyway, Google it. You can use programs online to automatically draw names for people and alert them so that no one in the group knows who has who. And we set a spending limit, and then we shop for our person, and we have one big Zoom in December where we open our gifts together. 
Or you could opt for everyone's favorite holiday memory-making game, White Elephant, to spread some Christmas cheer. Or Discord, however you feel like looking at it. Honestly, especially among adults, most of us don't feel like getting more stuff. Personally, I'd rather have the memory of playing White Elephant with my people than getting a bunch of gifts. That memory is much more of a precious gift to me and will keep me laughing for years to come. Also, if you want to cap your grocery bill at the holidays, think about hosting a potluck dinner, if that isn't your group's normal thing. Your people might enjoy the new tradition. You can make it a theme night, like our Christmas Eve snack dinner that our family does, or ask everyone to bring a dish from a particular kind of cuisine. Plus, a potluck means you get to spend less time in the kitchen and spend all of your effort on creating one killer dish. Sign me up for that. Number four, opt for some DIY gifts. Listen, friend, if you're really crafty or you're a great cook, the sky is the limit for DIY gifts and decor. Can you knit or crochet? Duh, you know what to do. It's time to look up some patterns for hats, gloves, and scarves. Are you a great cook? Try your hand at creating a really great condiment like vanilla sugar or preserved lemons. Are you not so crafty or a great cook like me? Don't worry, you've got options. You could get some ornaments from Michael's and pick up a paint pen and decorate some ornaments that way. Honestly, I treasure every single handmade ornament I've ever received, whether from one of my kids or a friend. They're so special since someone took the time to make it for me. As for cooking, am I a cook? No, I am not. So at the very least, you could go the Emily route and get some break and bakes and tuck them into a cute cookie box. Sweet, simple, perfect, and great for your budget. Don't have time to dinner plan and meal prep this holiday season? Me either. That's why I'm leaving all the work to Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating clean. And during this busy season, you can feel your best with nutritionist-approved recipes featuring clean ingredients with no artificial colors and sweeteners and limited added sugar and processed ingredients. The best part is that Green Chef makes it easy to eat this way since they send pre-portioned and prepped ingredients, including pre-measured sauces, spices, and dressings right to your door. Lately, we've been craving comfort food that's hearty but still nutritious. We've made the garlic herb chicken and sun-dried tomatoes, which was delicious, and the Monterey Jack smothered chicken with roasted squash and creamy mushroom sauce. You had me at creamy, Green Chef. To get started, go to greenchef.com slash 60 simplified and use code 60 simplified to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. What a deal. One more time, go to greenchef.com slash 60 simplified and use code 60 simplified to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating clean. The Simplified Podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Our family loves to exchange gifts during the holidays. These days, we prioritize giving experiences more than stuff because spending time together brings us more joy than anything from a box. Whether or not your family gives gifts during the holidays, you get to define how you give to yourself. And the holidays are a great time to do that. So whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Guys, I know the holidays aren't all joy. Sometimes they can be tough. And this time of year, reaching for healthy coping tools that therapy can give you can help you get through this season with a bit more peace. That's what I found anyway. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Simplified today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Simplified. We've officially made it to December, you guys, which means it's time for 12 days of deals at Honey Love. Honey Love makes some of the most comfortable bras ever. And from December 1st through the 12th, Honey Love's going to drop limited time deals almost every day. So don't miss out. Y'all, Honey Love bras are the best kind of bras because they're so comfortable. You'll forget you're even wearing them. If you need a bra that'll give you support, but without the underwire, you need to try the crossover bra. It feels so light and goes so well under all your clothes. Plus, the straps are adjustable and it's super cute. And if you want to stay cozy all winter long, Honey Love also has super cute clothes, sleepwear, and loungewear that you'll absolutely love and wear every day. So... This holiday season, treat yourself to the best bras on the market. Right now, you can save up to 20% off site-wide at honeylove.com slash simplified this month only. 
One more time, get up to 20% off site-wide at honeylove.com slash simplified. Make sure you use our exclusive link so they know that we sent you. Number five, utilize cash back and rewards programs. Guys, if you have credit card rewards, do not be afraid to use them for shopping. I have a friend who gets most of her groceries from Walmart with her Walmart credit card, and she gets 5% cash back on every grocery purchase. That stuff adds up over a year of groceries, and she doesn't spend a dime of her points until the holidays, because that 5% grocery money is what she uses to buy all her Thanksgiving and holiday groceries. And that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Obviously, if you have a holiday travel situation coming up and you haven't booked it yet, you could totally use your points for flights, rental cars, and hotels. If you're looking for some purchasing power for gifts, several credit cards allow you to make Amazon purchases directly with your points, which makes it super easy to buy gifts with your points. But if you want your points in cold, hard cash, you can ask your credit card company to send you a check because cash money is fun too. And if it makes sense for you, you could participate in your credit card's shopping rewards portal because you can rack up quite a few points just for shopping for things you were already going to buy anyway. For example, if you're buying an Apple product, you can buy that product directly from the Apple website using your credit card's shopping portal, and you'll get tons more credit card points than you would if you just bought the same thing off Amazon. Just saying. And of course, this goes without saying, none of this matters if you don't pay off your credit card bill every month, because the money you save here will get eaten up immediately by the high interest rate on your credit card. Not to be a Grinch, just looking out for you. Number six, plan affordable activities. Listen, the best thing about the holidays isn't the stuff. It's making memories with your people. And there are tons of memory-making activities that are free or almost free around the holidays. Host your mom, your sister, your friends for a Hallmark movie marathon. Heck, do a kid's Christmas movie marathon with your family. Make fudge or peppermint bark and take it to your neighbors. Walk around the best neighborhood for holiday lights in your town. Go to your church's Christmas pageant. You don't have to book a family trip to Disney to have fun at the holidays. You can make memories with your people right where you are. And finally, don't beat yourself up if you go over budget. Sometimes I get a little carried away by the holiday magic and the spending that goes with it. If you happen to spend more than you planned for, don't beat yourself up. Enjoy the magic of the holiday as much as you can and see if you can trim a bit in the new year. Remember, y'all, the holiday season is about spending time with your people and finding joy in the connection you share. That's where the true magic of the season is. No wallet needed. As we close out this episode, I'd like to say a little blessing for you as we get back to our days. As you make your way through the holiday season, I hope you find meaningful ways to connect with your people. I hope the smallest moments bring you joy, like watching your dog frolic in the first snow of the season, or enjoying some hot chocolate with your BFF, or snuggling onto the couch to watch your favorite movie from your childhood with your kids. And above all, I hope you remember that holidays don't have to be big or expensive or garner a thousand likes to matter, because we find meaning when we relish the love and relationship we share in the moment. As always, I like to leave a little tip to help you put what we've talked about today into practice. So here's your task for this week. If you have trouble keeping up with how much you're spending on gifts, you could make life simple and just give your people a certain amount of cash on a gift card. You could choose a favorite local restaurant, a bookstore, or a coffee shop. You could choose a Visa gift card and let them choose how to spend it. You could choose their favorite online retailer too. Plus, if you have to mail your gifts, a gift card doesn't use much postage and an e-gift card doesn't use any postage at all. Or be like your grandparents and send cash in an envelope. That method still holds up. Thanks for listening to the Simplified Podcast. You can find show notes for this episode at emilylay.com slash podcast, where you can check out links and resources I mentioned here. And you can shop the Simplified brand of planners and products for all your holiday gifting. You can follow me on Instagram at Emily Lay and our brand at Simplified. And now you can follow my writing at emilylay.substack.com. You can also get my brand new book, Near in the Night, at your favorite book retailer today. That's all I've got for you today. Till next time, thanks for listening. Bye.